Raw on Netflix. Oh, I can't wait. How different do you think it's going to look? Um, look in like, like the visual sense? No, I don't think that the visual is going to be that much different, but this is not a PG product anymore. No, but I also don't think it's... Uh, you know, here's the thing. It is a family product. Yeah. And I think there is a lot of value in WWE being a family product. And I think that... And maybe it's because I have kids and my seven-year-old is like super into wrestling. And like, there is some stuff that we can enjoy together. And there's other stuff that I can't show them. Mm. And it kind of bums me out that I can't show them some of the other stuff. You know? Um, I think that there, there, there is a way to tell stories that don't insult the intelligence of people like us, but make it so it's not uncomfortable to bring your kids to. Yeah. I don't think that the answer is, well, we're on Netflix now. Let's do way more cursing. Let's do nudity. Let's do more blood. Like, I, I don't think wrestling was ever missing that edge. I don't think wrestling was like, you know what wrestling needs? Profanity and blood. No, wrestling needs compelling stories. Yeah. That's all. And if within those compelling stories, some profanity slips out, that's fine. That's part of the story. If within these compelling stories, we get some blood, we should. Like, we shouldn't have blocks on anything when it comes to, and we go back to Drew and, and Punk. Like, to not have blood in that Hell in a Cell match would have been insane. It would have insulted us who are watching this story. Mm. But I think what you'll have on, on Netflix is maybe a little more leniency in the timing of the way you tell stories and in those specific moments, not this thing of like, oh, we better clear this with this network. Mm. Like there's no reason for network clearance. None. <laughs> but, and this is the same thing people said when like Howard Stern and other big radio shows were going over to Sirius XM, it still requires a certain discipline to put on a show, right? It requires a certain discipline to put on a show that a lot of people can watch and enjoy and that isn't just insanity for the sake of insanity. That is still like the emphasis, we're not like, oh, well, since we can do this now, let's do this. <clears throat> if it is required for and benefits the story to a great degree, awesome. But I'm not sitting there watching Raw or SmackDown right now. I'm not sitting there watching the bloodline story. I'm not sitting there watching Cody try to finish his story. I'm not sitting there watching any of the storylines that have enthralled us and said, man, if only there was more profanity and blood. Yeah. Like you're not, you're not missing yeah. it because you've got the stories. 